a jihadi prepares for prayer in a bunker below Bakhmut, a commander with half a million dollar Russian bounty on his head. <laughs> These Chechens are some of Vladimir Putin's oldest enemies and Ukraine's fiercest allies. They're fighting a holy war against the Russians, says their commander Mansour, and showing them no mercy. I have no pity for them at all, because God gave everyone a brain for thinking. If he is not thinking, he shouldn't walk on the earth. He belongs below the ground. They're a sabotage unit, improvising their own weapons. A fire extinguisher packed with high explosives as a rocket-propelled grenade. <laughs> and suicide belts, in case they're caught by the Russians. Their base is rigged to blow up if it's overrun by their enemy. They're all wanted men in the eyes of Russia, and their movement shrouded in secrecy. They rarely allow this kind of access. We can't show anything that gives away the location of the Chechen's headquarters to the Russians, but we can say we're in Bakhmut, the front line is nearby, and the battle is going on constantly. This is our devil machine, he tells me. They've adapted an old Soviet-era weapon into a rocket launcher his unit uses to drop munitions on Russian infantry in their trenches. And this is it in action. They've been fighting against Russia for a Chechen homeland since the 90s. Against Vladimir Putin and the man he installed as puppet leader in Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov. A man known for callous brutality and relentless self-promotion. His Chechen forces are fighting for the Kremlin in Ukraine. To these men, those Chechens have sold their souls to Putin. Our ancestors didn't spill their blood just for us now to be bought with the land cruiser. We wouldn't exchange 1% of our religion and culture for all the riches they would offer. The Sheikh Mansour Battalion have been waging war against the Russians in Ukraine since 2014. But are now engaged in one of the most intense battles of this war. For control of the town of Bakhmut, where Russians are sending in wave after wave of soldiers against them. They are only good in killing civilians. They are sending forward troops like a cattle for slaughter, leaving the ground covered with the corpses. They do it every day. They have no pity for their own people. The ranks of the battalion have been increased by Ukrainian converts. If today the war ends in Ukraine, that is, we win, for us it will not end. We have to fight until that time that we destroy that empire of evil totally. Their commander has fought the Russians for 20 years, eight of them spent in prison. They all hope when this is over they can take the battle to Chechnya and win back their homeland. As the Russians inch towards them, they plan their next move. But their enemies are for now destroying the city block by block in a grinding war of attrition. Neither side shows any sign of winning. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Bakhmut.